Hi everyone, in this video I am going to explain about how to write a VHDL code for Universal Shift Register, very 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 important. So in the previous video I started the discussion of this Universal Shift Register with the 74LS194 IC diagram. So what are the different operations performed by IC 74LS194 is specified here. So four different operations in bidirectional and this is the IC diagram which consists of 16 pins. So it consists of 16 pins and these are the pin specifications what each and every pin specifies and their description and this is the truth table. So up to this part I have explained in the previous video. So now let us recall the truth table so that we can simply moving forward to with the coding. So operation specifies there are five different operations five different operations one is clearing clear specifies every output becomes zero and shift left operation shift right operation shift left happens when control bits you see these two are control bits <coughs> these two are control bits okay so shift left happens when one one shift right operation happens when control bits zero one loading operation 10 hold operation 00 they may be interchanged also okay shift left and shift right to hold load operations may or may not happen in these conditions that means shift left operation okay is happening when it is 11 shift right operation may happen for 10 it that depends upon the type of the company that the universal shift register has been launched okay it may be working for 01 or it may be working for 10 but one particular operation will be happen for one condition okay and holding operation 00 means hold means previous data whatever the previous data that will be carried forward previous data <coughs> okay so now coming to the vhdl code coming to the vhdl code so we know very well vhdl starts with the library package i to be library i triple e use i triple e use i triple e dot standard logic std underscore logic underscore one one six four dot all this is a package and again use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore arithmetic arithmetic dot all unsigned also there so we can call them use i triple e dot std underscore logic underscore unsigned dot all so entity now entity is a part where we specify the inputs and outputs entity ic 74194 is port port of so what are the different inputs we are having all must be specified in this particular entity operation so entity clock we have clear we have so data input from the left side so dsl comma dsr all these are single bit pins okay in std underscore logic std underscore logic and yes yes is having s not s1 so two pins are there i am taking select for our uh, simplicity to understand select in std underscore logic underscore vector two bits are there one down to zero to select a particular mode of operation <coughs> and output uh, input data input d for parallel load operation data input d for parallel load operation so d in std underscore logic 
underscore vector of 3 down to 0. And Q which is the output STD underscore logic output is also of 4 bit 3 down to 0. So, these are the input ports for the 74 LS 194. Now, architecture which specifies the complete behavior of the hardware, architecture behavioral of IC 74194 is, so what is the name we have given here, okay, IC 74194 is. I am taking a signal Q S S T D underscore logic underscore vector of three down to zero begin begin see in the signal representation we don't need to specify whether it is input or output because this QS pin can be used in any direction by directional signal begin if now clear is equal to see clear is an active low pin okay clear is an active low pin that's why 0 if clear is equal to 0 then clear is equal to 0 then QS is equal to QS is equal to you can specify like this others implies 0 QS is equal to 0 simply else if see ELS EF, else if rising edge rising edge of clock rising edge of clock then then now the operation is completely based on the selection pin. Selection pin is nothing but control inputs. Okay. Selection is case selection is when when what happens when 0 0 when 0 0 when 0 0 here just I am taking it as uh, what happens when 0 0 see here 0 0 means Holding operation. Holding operation is nothing but same previous data. Holding operation is nothing but previous data. So, previous data that is why QS is loaded with QS, same data. It will not change. When 0 1, 0 1, QS is equal to 0 1 means what? Shift right operation shift right operation so zero one uh, come here shift right operation means write data input dsr dsr concatenated QS 3 down to 1 QSR DSR concatenated with QS 3 down to 1 the meaning of this line is see when DSR is loaded at the Q3 position Q3 Q2 Q1 are moving right side See, this is the operation. This is the operation. Okay. Concatenation is nothing but just adding, appending. At when 1, 0, QS is loaded with 1, 0 means what here? 1, 0 means loading operation. So, loading means QS is equal to same D. 
so data input d and when when 1 1 when 1 1 qs is equal to qs is equal to so qs of 2 down to 0 concatenated with uh, concatenated with uh, this one data input data input which is for left shift operation dsl okay and similarly when others when others null the end case now append q output q is equal to qs capital q or small q it is case in sense to so end uh, here we need to write process also end process end behavior end behavior see here we need to start with process architecture signal begin process begin here we need to write process begin okay in process only we have to write this here if condition okay see here in the case yes select case select operation we are writing the output operation so whatever we have described in the previous uh, truth table okay as per the truth table i have written here it may or may not match okay so when 00, zero uh, when 00, zero means s not s1 zero, 00 what is the output s1 s not is 11 what is the output so depending upon the condition of the control bits we are writing the output okay this may change okay if you are going to another uh, uh, textbook or another video these output pins may vary just then you can write just simply by interchanging them whenever uh, your, wherever your operation that matches with okay so this is the way to write a hdl code for the universal shift register thank you